All right, last step of our accounting cycle, we're going to create a post-closing trial balance. Now, when we say post-closing, uh, don't get this confused with posting closing entries to the general ledger, step nine. Post hyphen closing, um, this simply means after closing. So it's the after closing trial balance. So let's go ahead, uh, we're going to need two items. We're going to need our general ledger. There it is. So we're going to need our general ledger and we are going to need our post-closing trial balance. Beautiful. Resize those just a wee bit. All right. So let's go ahead and update all of those balances, starting with cash. Again, fraud company, post-closing trial balance, and the date. All right, cash, 12,300 debit. Accounts receivable, 8,700 debit. Supplies, 200 debit. Prepaid rent, 1,000 debit. Equipment, 4,000 debit. Accumulated depreciation, 100 credit, accounts payable, 400 credit, salaries and wages payable, 270 credit, notes payable, 1,000 credit, unearned fees, 1,500 credit, Jonathan Tinker Capital, that lovely number that we had in our financial statements, it's great when everything works out. Uh, drawing, this is going to get super easy uh, going forward. Nothing. Fees earned. Nothing. <laughs> Salaries and wages expense. Nothing. Supplies expense. Nothing. Rent expense. Nothing. And you'll notice that all of the expenses going down, they all have a zero balance. And why is that? Because we close them out. And the whole reason why we do this is that now we can start the next month fresh. So all of our items where they are essentially building on each other during a particular period, now those items are starting brand new. And that's that big difference between something called permanent accounts and temporary accounts. So if you don't know what the difference between those are, please make sure you look that up. But of course, we do want to check our work. So let's go ahead and sum up each side. 26,200, 26,200, and we are done. All right, so that is the full accounting cycle. Um, it does take a lot of practice. And keep in mind, this is the accounting cycle for a service-based company, individually owned, so it is a proprietorship. So make sure that you are going ahead and you're practicing these items. Again, we have blank sheets on the website. We have this Excel spreadsheet on the website. So if there's anything you need, if you're an instructor, if you're a student, um, if you're someone who's just kind of repracticing so that you can kind of um, uh, enter back into an accounting course after it's been a while, we have a lot of those resources on the website. So please make sure that you take the time to go look and see what we have there. But um, until next time, happy studying.